a significant development has taken place. A round of flight tests, which are part of the integration of the new B-6112 nuclear gravity bomb onto the F-35A Joint Strike Fighter has been completed. These tests were conducted by U.S. Sandia National Laboratories in cooperation with Los Alamos National Laboratory and the U.S. Air Force. The press release from Sandia said that the supersonic test had taken place over the Tonopah test range on August 25th. Viewers may note that the range is a secretive site inside the huge Nevada test and training range and has been used for the R&D of secretive projects as well as testing of nuclear weapons. The F-35A dropped the test B-6112, which included functional non-nuclear components and simulated nuclear components from an altitude of 10,500 feet. It took approximately 42 seconds for the bomb to hit the designated target on the range. Brian Adkins, the range manager at the facility, said in a statement, We successfully executed this historic, first-ever F-35A flight test at Tonopah Test Range within the specified delivery criteria. The U.S. military expects the B-6112, also known as the B-61 Mod-12, to replace all existing versions of B-61 that includes the B-61 3, 4, 7, and 11 in the active stockpile. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, armed with B-61-12 nuclear bomb, will be a major headache for Russia and China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The B-6112 is a cooperative effort between the Air Force and NNSA, or National Nuclear Security Administration. The U.S. Air Force is responsible for acquiring the Boeing-designed GPS-assisted inertial navigation system INS, directed tail kit. The kit has tail fins to control the bomb's downward descent and will enable it to dive down on the target with high accuracy. The bomb also uses rockets in the main body to spin stabilize it in flight and improve its accuracy. NNSA is responsible for developing the bomb's main assembly and integrating the actual nuclear warhead on live weapons. The bomb's exact power remains classified. Some reports indicate the warhead will have a maximum yield of approximately 50 kilotons. To give viewers a perspective, here's a comparison. Trinity test in New Mexico in July 1945, which ushered in the nuclear age, had a yield of 20 kilotons. Hiroshima's Little Boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons, whereas Nagasaki's Fat Man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. B-6112 is expected to have a dial-a-yield capability which can limit the extent of the nuclear reaction inside the warhead to lower the explosive force. This way, a B-61 Mod-12 will be able to replace different bombs that have predefined explosive yields. B-61 Mod-12 will also replace the B-6111 Bunker Buster variant. In 2014, former U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General Norton Schwartz speaking at an event at the Stimson Center think tank in Washington, D.C., suggested that the guidance kit on the B-6112 will enable it to destroy hardened underground targets without any specialized bunker-busting variant, as the blast's impact will be very focused due to the high accuracy. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather, stealth, multi-role fighter, 
is undergoing final development and testing by the United States. The Pentagon began the F-35 program in 2001 with an aim to develop a cost-effective replacement for the U.S. military's F-15 fighters, F-16 and F-18 fighter bombers and reconnaissance aircraft, and A-10 close-in support warplanes. The F-35 has three main models, the conventional takeoff and landing F-35A CTOL, the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B Stovall, and the catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery carrier-based F-35C Kettlebar. Apart from the United States, the primary customer and financial backer, the United Kingdom, Italy, the Netherlands, Canada, Turkey, now removed, Australia, Norway, and Denmark are also part of the program. Many other nations like Japan and Israel are also deploying the fighters. The major partner nations, including the U.S., plan to acquire over 2,000 F-35s through 2035, which, if delivered, will make the F-35 one of the most numerous jet fighters. The fighter aircraft are expected to remain in service beyond 2050. F-35, being a fifth-generation fighter, is developed from the ground up to be stealthy. Its external structure is designed to deflect signals away from the emitting radar, which makes it hard to detect or track. This is done by having no sharp edges or protruding elements and having a smooth external curvature. The test was particularly significant since the F-35A will carry the B-61-12 internally. A total of 400 B-61 Mod 12 are expected to be developed. Apart from B-2 bombers, the bombs will be integrated into dual-purpose combat jets, such as the F-16 and F-15 Strike Eagle. The U.S. Air Force plans to integrate the B-61-12 on the future B-21 Raider bomber, also that will replace B-2. Viewers may note that a nuclear-capable cruise missile is being developed for both B-2 and the B-52 bombers. But the advantage of B-61-12 is that more B-61-12s can be carried by B-2 or the future B-21 Raider when compared to the cruise missile and hence more targets could be neutralized in a single sortie. The bombers, as well as any smaller jets carrying the nuclear bombs, though being vulnerable to counterattacks, are an important part of America's nuclear triad since this option offers much better flexibility. Bombers and fighters can shift target or abort mission entirely even at the very last stage, when compared to missile-armed planes or sea or ground-launched crews or ballistic missiles. Being stealthy, F-35 will be hard to detect and can penetrate well-defended airspace. Clearly, B-61 Mod 12 will be an important part of America's nuclear deterrence going forward. While the U.S. is in the final stage of integrating a powerful and accurate nuclear bomb in its stealth fighter, Russia and China are still unable to get a proper fifth-generation fighter off the ground. Russian Su-57 is thought to have suspect stealth characteristics and is also years away from serial production. Chinese J-20 is having engine issues and also has stealth-related problems. So the U.S. is far ahead in this game. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.